All right, welcome to ASC Custom Designs. Um, just seems the fate of this video is not so good. Um, all the videoing that I did uh, got trashed again. I'm losing faith in my my Droid, uh, my Google phone. So whatever upgrade happened, um, you go to record something, pause it, start it again, and then it doesn't actually finish once you're done. So there you go. I'm going to have to explain what I did, but it really wasn't that uh, uh, you didn't miss too much. All I really did was I fastened these rollers, which are rubber, and they have stops on them so that you can lock them in place. All right. You definitely want to have a roller system that, that, that locks in place. All right. And But I just described to you how, how basically I put those bolts in. Um, I started using um, this guy here. It just didn't have the power. Even though I, I countersunk uh, using uh, this system here, which is, oh, where is it? <laughs> here it is, the Rockler system. This is my second set. Um, I was so impressed with the first one. Uh, it speaks for itself. Three different sizes uh, for countersinking, boring. Uh, very, very strong bits. The bits that I would buy at uh, anywhere, USA, would just break in a matter of time. But this is a really cool system. One of these guys here seats in there. That's what's in there. So you basically yank this guy off, do your countersinking, and then shove this guy back on, and then put your bit here, and then drive uh, the system, the fastener down. All right? And these are good for doing hinges. Uh, basically there's a drill bit inside uh, there and then you uh, push down on this and it, it, it goes right on the center of the hole instead of, of floating around you know and losing not not putting that um, drilling right in, in the center so that's what I use there. Uh, look those I got 500 videos you sure I did an episode on that. What I ended up doing was pulling out this guy, and uh, it's a shame the video didn't come out. But um, I got this in the 90s. Uh, this is the heavy-duty electric hammer drill. This is an amazing sis, uh, system. Looks like I got the case for $29. Uh, this was back in the 90s. The drill was $140. Uh, I don't know what they cost these days, but man, can this thing uh, drive just about anything to home. Um, it's so strong that you could break your wrist if you if you don't hang on to that sec that guy. This is a handle that goes into it. All right, you screw that in. That gives you more control. And uh, again, it was on the video, but uh, the video didn't finish. Okay, so that's the tool, the main tool that I use. So I countersunk, and then I. Uh, Screw it in those bolts. So there you go. Now we have our, oh, got to be careful. I was so close to hitting that uh, there. So basically, um, I can now move this guy all by myself with my one hand. And I can move him around. I don't have a big wood shop. This is my basement. And so I don't have a lot of room. Everything I have is, the, the, the tools are on wheels. Um, if it's my table, it's on wheels. If it's a little cart like this, it's on wheels. If it's my bandsaw, it's on wheels. Uh, if it's the other drill press that I have back there, uh, that's on wheels. The jointer, uh, on wheels. All right, so, um, of course, the, the jet dust collection system is on wheels. It comes on wheels. So this is the area that I figured out that if I put my table saw there, um, I can cut a 4 by 8 I can go back to the fridge there. And uh, I have plenty of room in front. Of course, I've got to move that stuff out of the way. And uh, so there you go. But I'll tell you what, just trying to get this the way the contractor system is, it's got the pivot, pivot wheel in the back. Um, that was this guy. Okay. Now he can be used for something else. And these two wheels were in the front. So if you've got the contractor table saw, you know what I'm talking about. But that's the basic system that's on these things. But... It, it only slide it only goes forward and then um, pivots in the back 
So it would take me a lot of finagling to, to get it from here, this area here, over to here. Now I can just slide it. So I always get excited when I get one of my heavy tools on a system like this. All right. So thanks for tuning in to SC Custom Designs. I really am sorry uh, that you didn't get to see uh, me put it together, put the wheels on, and just chat through. So um, you can learn a lot from just hearing somebody talk. When I was down in Secaucus, New Jersey, talking to the guys from the Wood, wood Magazines um, and uh, Mr. Uh, Alex Nodgrass, uh, really simply the master of the bandsaw. You should see him work in person. It's really, really impressive. Um, why I went off there, I don't know. Oh, just talking to the, the older generation. Um, I don't know if I'm that old. Um, you, you just listening to them talk, you can learn so much. So um, I just was watching Ava Rick Wilkerson. Look her up. She, of course, she's probably uh, well known way more than I am. But um, she mentions that too when she was building her new uh, wood shop in the middle of nowhere out there. Um, she just likes to surround herself with somebody who knows just a little bit more than her or a lot more than her. Or even if you think you know about a thing, there's always something to learn, isn't there? Thanks for tuning in to SE Custom Designs. Uh, this is part four. It concludes the series on making a mobile station for your radio. I'm sorry, Rex. I don't know why I say the wrong tool. <laughs> for your Delta Contractor table saw. Thanks. God bless. Stay safe. Bye-bye now.